okay we're going to uh, now do our footer so we're going to go start back we're going to go to file and this time we're going to go to open and we're going to open up our background image that's the one we originally made once that opens up here in Photoshop elements I'm going to go back to my marquee tool I'm going to select the bottom of our background image then I'm going to go to image again and crop that's going to give us this bottom piece we're going to make it a little bigger by how do we do that control and the plus key remember that uh, we're going to hold, close this panel because we don't need to, uh, to see that anymore um, so this is going to be our footer again we're going to draw our guidelines in the middle we're going to put one on the 900, one on the 300 that's going to give us this is the center of our two strips this is the one strip, this is the second strip go back to my text tool which is uh, and we used playbill so let's change it back to playbill and we're using a yellow color we select in the center on that you can bring one guideline down if you'd like to the center uh, we're going to type right here June 1st 1974 that's the year that Mary Jane and I were married no 1975 four, no it's 1974 uh, again now if you want to change after you type this you say, gee I really don't like that font you can change it you take your type tool click and select them all you can go up here to your uh, fonts and you can see it turn blue up there see it up here in blue if I use the arrow keys in it, yep it will change the fonts for me so I can see them right on my screen till I find the font that I like so let's say I like something uh, scriptier than what we had so I'm just gonna scan up through here till I find one I like Oh, I like that one. Let's go with that one. Now it's too small, so I'm going to change the pixel size from 12 pixels. Let's make it 24 pixels. And we're going to set that just about like that. And that looks kind of cool. So now I have to make a second file of this over to put over on this side. So if I select that layer, which is darkened, and I go to Layer, I can go to Duplicate Layer. Uh, it's going to make the copy. I'm going to say yes. Then I'm going to go to my move tool, which is the move tools. This one up in the upper left hand corner. You can see it already highlighted that layer. And I'm going to start dragging that layer over. But as you can see, I can go up and down with it even off the page. But the minute I hit the shift key, it's going to put it. I can't go up and down anymore. I only can go left and right. So I'm going to set that right there in the center. That's going to become each side of my strip. I now need to go layer, flatten the image, bring it all together into one file instead of all those layers. It's going to be one layer. And I'm going to go file, save as. And what are we going to call it now? We're going to call it footer. F O O T E R. Say yes. 12 quality maximum say yes we have now have our footer JPEG see it up here footer JPEG that's it so now all three of these are in that folder exactly where I need them to be uh, for uh, so let's just close that image and let's minimize uh, so now Chuck and Mary Jane's wedding we have our header our footer, header, our footer, and our background. Now they're going to all match up, and then the software is going to automatically put the photos uh, so none of them touch any of these headers and footers. So everything's going to match just right for us. So that's it. It's that simple. Header, footer, backgrounds.